One of the things when you're shooting Fusion is uh, having options where you need to mount things onto the cameras. And I am using, say, this Ninja V more and more now uh, for things like recording. And if I do, obviously, th these cameras, the Sony cameras, apart from the A6400, doesn't have a front-facing screen. So I needed some sort of system where I could mount things uh, onto this without putting too much pressure on the, uh, the cold shoe. Uh, which can be an issue. Um, so what I've done is um, I asked Morig if they'd send me a um, review uh, cage that they'd sent me and they actually sent me uh, quite a number of things which was fantastic. I did purchase some things myself like the handles though uh, but all of these parts uh, here which I'll show you uh, on their website what they are uh, you can have a look uh, and, and I'll show you the numbers and everything that they are there too. Okay, so let's talk about the actual, uh, how the cage is purchased through Smallry, because I'll show you all the individual components uh, and talk about that as, as we go along. Um, so if you go to Smallry, the first part that you order is the cage. And now this is the same cage for the A7R3 as well as the A7R3. Uh, uh, and the beauty of this is one of the things that you've got to be very careful of is when you are purchasing or uh, these mounts and things like that, you really shouldn't be putting them onto the hot shoe of the camera because that is one of the weak points. So it really is better to buy a cage to stick anything that's reasonably heavy on like a, uh, a monitor mount like you can see right here. Uh, if you're putting a monitor mount on like that, it's not advisable to stick that onto the, the hot shoe uh, due to the fact that you're putting so much weight on there. Um, now, the other thing too I like using this, I've just bought an Osmo Mobile and I'm going to use that to be attached to the top of the camera here uh, and when I'm doing some YouTube video so I can show what I'm filming and therefore I can still use the hot shoe to connect my flash and also mount things like the Osmo Mobile on there as well or a light or something like that. So it gives you way many more points that you can add to. So you don't have to add things like handles and stuff like that and in fact a lot of the time I won't be even using the handles, I'm just showing you in this case uh, how it's all put together. So that's the first part. Uh, the next part that I'll show you is uh, the mount that you put um, the uh, monitor onto. Now this is uh, on pre-order at the moment. I think if you look down here it's, it's due to be shipped out on July the 5th. Uh, and the part number for this is BSE2346. So what I love about this mount is the way you can just um, turn this around 360 degrees uh, to wherever you want it to go. So if you want it to face yourself, you can. You can also twist it to any angle that you like to go as well. So this is fantastic uh, for, for that. And I hadn't seen anything like that anywhere. And I think that's a great design. Uh, like I said, it just fits snugly onto the actual unit itself. Uh, and I really like that. And therefore, like I said, it takes that weight away from uh, your um, hot shoe. So that now is pre-ordered. Uh, as well and like I said that's at the moment it's $29.90 if you want to purchase that. The cold shoe adapter which is what I've got on this side over here uh, is fantastic because uh, it has this little button on the side that you can push down which holds it uh, in and I'll show you that on the screen. So whatever you put into this hot shoe uh, over here uh, locks in until you press that down and then you can move it out. So this is another great unit as well. Um, so this is part number, it's just anti-off button, it's 2246 uh, it's called, and I think this is really great. In fact, I bought a couple of these uh, to stick on different um, cages that I've got. Um, and the next part of this design is the handles that you're looking at here. So I bought a right-hand side uh, and also a left-hand side. They're bolt-on mounts, but I did find that I needed to order also the um, uh, this rosette. Uh, to connect it to the actual cage. So just be careful and make sure that you order those to go on the cage as well. Uh, but these are really fantastic because you can tilt these, uh, just undo the uh, thing there and you can tilt them to sort of any angle that you want to go on. They feel beautifully in your hand. In fact, there was one handle that has a button on it so you can start recording. But I find it's fantastic because you can just hold this very steady uh, and it really does feel nice. You can even just use one if you wanted to, say, have one like that and then you could be holding the lens on the other side. So they're, they're terrific. And like I said, sometimes I won't even be using the handles, I'll just be using the cage, but I wanted to show you how how, uh, that worked and finally just make sure you order the correct HDMI clamp uh, that is uh, number 1679 that you order there if you don't get the right one it won't fit on the cage that you're using uh, and that gives you the ability to um, 
tie it in at the back so that you don't get anything uh, flopping out and therefore this is held in tightly, uh, which is really good because being that these are these mini HDMI port, uh, ports, they can fall out very, very easily. They're not the full HDMI, so it's great to have that uh, on there, which is really nice. So yeah, that's all the parts that you need. Um, but the beauty uh, of using something like this of this system is I'm holding things more handheld now uh, because I'm finding that the stabilization I've got very very good at it and if I'm doing things like grabbing photography and doing uh, video at the same time I want to be moving very very quickly so I found that um, with this type of system I can handhold this enough there's enough stability in this uh, to work without putting it on on a uh, tripod now if you're really after perfect stabilization, you obviously would put it on a tripod, but for run and gun type stuff, I've found that this is ample. Not only that though, it's taking the pressure off all of the, like I said, the hot shoe here, um, and the ability just to be able to twist this, because this is such a fantastic feature through here, is I can twist the monitor around, and then it can face me. This is just new at the moment. I think it's on pre-order, um, but it's fantastic. And again, like I said, I can just switch it around. So if I'm doing selfies, if I'm doing stuff for YouTube and I want to just swing this around, I can. Uh, you can move it backwards and forwards as well, um, which is also great. So if you want to get it out of the glare uh, too. Now these, um, cages you've got cold shoe mounts that you can mount stuff off here there's there's mounting points everywhere all over this so you can you know like I said attach whatever you'd like to do uh, to put onto the camera without putting any pressure on the camera itself um, the handles they do just screw off so I can take the handles off if I don't want to use them or, or, you, or I could just leave one on uh, and then obviously hold it this way if I want it to so it's totally flexible uh, it also does protect the camera uh, as well and I've also put things like these cold shoes on here. So I've got one on this side and one on this side. So if I'm not using the monitor itself, I can say use uh, lights and things like that attached to this and microphones as well uh, without using the, uh, the actual uh, flash mount there. Uh, and I just love this. I think it's just fantastic. Uh, fits perfectly. There's no movement in this at all. Uh, there's a locking pin that you see right here that locks the whole system in. Um, just beautiful so let me know what you think about it I think it's fantastic um, like I said I, I'm not sponsored by them and I am giving an honest review uh, but they did send it to me uh, free of charge so you know that was fantastic and thank you so much small rig for that um, so stay tuned for more because I have got some more things coming from small rig in the future um, which I'll talk about when I get them they're on pre-release at the moment uh, apart from that any questions leave that down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible bye for now